Welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. This is Rantry, and it's finally time to kill the Prophet. Uh, I don't really care about this, but it's very rare, so I can sell it, you know, whatever. Uh, got my line up here. Uh, the Prophet is in the back, so we want our Hellion to stay up front and uh, t uh, take him down with Iron Swan. Got the Manslayer's Ring and the Sun Ring. No surprise there, just damage. Uh, man at arms. I'm going to mainly be uh, using defender here uh, to guard against the rubble of ruin skill. I've got him stacked up with uh, protection and HP all over the place. Also a little bit of dodge. Uh, he's mainly going to just be a tank. Uh, the tough ring I don't really like because it adds stress and reduces his damage but it does give a lot of protection and HP. We don't have a stress healer in this fight. Uh, so his fulminate uh, skill is going to be, could be quite scary. Uh, and then uh, we're taking in uh, a cultist, Damor, for our, uh, for our healer. Uh, I am using his uh, stun and debuff skill trinket that we got last time, mainly for the debuff because of this skill right here, Weakening Curse. Uh, we are going to be spamming this on the Prophet to reduce the damage of his, uh, his incoming attacks. Uh, the Churgeon's Charm also for a little healing boost. And then uh, the Arbalist, because she can also reliably hit the back rank. Uh, got the Sun Ring and the Manslayer's Ring on her as well. She can reliably hit the back rank. However, one thing that we are going to try to do is kill all of the pews. Um, especially in this first profit fight, uh, I think I, I may switch to rallying flare cause it clears the marks, but I don't think that's going to be necessary because he's going to be, it's going to be doing so little damage already. Um, but yeah, we're going to be trying to, uh, I, I, I consider turning on this mark so that I could like mark one of the pews and then the, the arbalist would do a lot more damage to it or something. But, uh, no, I think I'm just going to, uh, I think I'm just going to do the straight damage there. Now, he does have a, uh, a blight, uh, skill chance. Uh, he can also stun and everything, so I'm going to bring four holy waters so that I can just boost up my resistances a little bit, and then on top of that, we're going to go ahead and bring... Uh, I have decided that it might be, it's it's usually a little better to bring a little extra food than not enough. Bring our stack and a half of torches. Um, bring one key. Let's see, we got food. No shovels. We need shovels. Bring uh, three shovels should do us. And just double checking. I don't miss anything. I don't really care too much about medicinal herbs and bandages. Um... Yeah, and what's interesting here is that I'm, I'm building for the profit fight. Uh, but to get to him, we've got to go through the ruins. Uh, we do have Unholy Slayer here. I believe somebody has a uh, Unholy Hater there. Ruins Adventure, there we go, and Unholy Slayer. So this is really a pretty good uh, comp for this uh, fight. Excavations beneath the manor were well underway when a particularly ragged indigent arrived in the hamlet. This filthy, toothless miscreant boasted an uncanny knowledge of my ambitions and prognosticated publicly that, left unchecked, I would soon unleash doom upon the world. All right, so going for the profit. Reverberate maddeningly. Let's see if we can figure out where he is. I've got a feeling we're not going to be able to. Well, uh, let's see. Quit doing that. One, two, three, four, five, and either one of these, or one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it's not down there. It's one of these two, uh, which means we got a long way to go and a short time to get there. All right, starting right off. Uh, let's just go ahead and, uh, let's see, what, what's the damage difference here? That could do 6 to 10, this could do 5 to 8, so yeah, love having the, the sacrificial stab on the old occultist here, and then, of course, uh, we'll go ahead and finish you off. Um, the undead don't bleed very well, and so, uh, Hellion's not, not necessarily a great choice for that. Um, let's go ahead and stun you up. 
Oh, he resisted. Uh, let's see. Can we? Yeah, we can. Should this should be a kill? Yep. Good crit. Uh, that's her. Uh, that's her. Uh, awesome quirks coming in to play. I don't honestly use Arbalest very much normally, but uh, she just came with such great. Uh, we'll probably lock this one in as well. Uh, but she just really has a lot of great, uh, great quirks. And one more for good measure. Take the stuff and get on the road. Some busts. They are welcome. Yeah, and I'm going to probably, yeah, I'll probably start prioritizing uh, the heirlooms. Although, eh, I don't know. I'm fairly well. I'm fairly well set on heirlooms. I mean, not set. I need. I need plenty of them to upgrade. But you know, now we don't have a good trap disarmor. I just. I don't really think that. Well, whatever. I guess Hellions are good trap disarmors. All right, we got man. We got our manslayers rings on, so this this should really be a uh, should be a breeze of a fight. What kind of bleed is that? Shouldn't be too bad. Nah, it's not. Uh, gotta love Iron Swan. Decimated. And let's see, do we weakening curse him? Nah, I think we just try and damage uh, this guy. Actually, you know what? Weakening curse wouldn't be a bad idea. Because he hasn't gone yet. Uh, let's try it. Precision Good crit. Power. Yeah, negative 37% damage. That's fine. Uh, Arbalist could very well kill here. Not quite. But uh, let's see. We could finish this guy off with uh, Crush. Or we could attempt to stun here. Th I think... I think I'm going to finish this guy off just in case he goes first next round. I don't want him getting that damage in. Uh, I'd, honestly, I'd rather have this guy not do point blank shot, though. It's still not that bad. Hack. And whack. And smack. Size alone does not dissuade Another Manslayer's Ring. Awesome. Uh, we do have one key. I would like to save it for a secret room. Uh, we do have some shovels, but I'm not sure if I want to use them uh, right now. Ooh, good. Two room scout. Um, you know what? I'm going to come back. I'm going to see see what happens and then, uh, and then make my way back through. Not, uh, not getting great... Tr Treasure right now. Don't tempt me. Oh man. I don't think that's wine. We find victory. I do like Iron Swan, but I do want to kill this guy, and this may do it. And it will. Good. Uh, we could do Abyssal Artillery for 8 damage there, or 8 damage here. Uh, we'll go... Arbalist, I'm hoping, can finish him off. This guy's, this guy's more of a threat to me. Good crit. Man at Arms, super tanky. Uh, we can just go for... Uh, we could go for Retribution, I suppose. Just for fun. And... Man, I really was hoping she would do some more damage. Of course, she doesn't have that... Uh, she doesn't have the... Um, oh, no, she does have a... Or, she doesn't have an Undead Slayer's Ring. She's got a Manslayer's Ring, so... Not, uh, not a lot of extra... There we go. Lots of gold. Lots of gold. doodly do. Um, medicinal herb, sure. Uh, just got rid of the medicinal herb, which I could have used for that, but 
you know, easy come, easy go. The way is lit. The path is clear. Some spiders. We require only the strength to follow it. Uh, let's do this. Good job. Your flogging graft. Glad you missed that spider. Another one. Probably could have done Bola there, but I use that skill so rarely. Uh, if I did not say it earlier, the reason I'm taking Bola uh, is because of the. Um, and we'll of course leave that till later. I'm taking Bola because of uh, I want to do because of I want. To do uh, damage to the um, only treasure could staunch the flow. pews, the pews, because they give you a lot of money. I like to watch my progress on the map. That's why I always switch back to it. There's probably a hot key for that that I never bothered to learn. All right, good. Oh, give us two room scout. Give us two room scout. Dang it. All right, we gotta hope for a scout in here, uh, so that we don't waste our time. All right, full torchlight, so we can hope for a scout. A blazing star is born. Yes. All right, that's our answer. So we go ahead and camp here. Uh, let me just double check and make sure I got all the camping skills on that I would like. Uh, let's see, instruction one companion, dodge and speed. Uh, no, I definitely want to do weapons practice there and possibly maintain equipment as well. Probably maintain equipment as well. We'll do restring crossbow and sharpen spear and battle trance are both really good. Uh, battle trance probably better. Okay, so three... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, that's that's what we're gonna have to do. Okay, camp it up. Uh, we don't really have to feast. Uh, yeah, we'll save we'll save our food, and then. We will do our uh, weapons practice, and then we can do our uh, uh, battle trance, and our restring crossbow, and we should have two two camping points left over. We could encourage somebody, but we don't need to. Uh, let's see, we could. Fix, we could wound care her, or we could, uh, uh, let's see, uh, pep talk somebody. Who do I think is going to be the most stressed? I don't know why, but I think our occultist will be for some reason. That's fine. All right. We we might get ambushed in the, in the night here, which would not be great. We didn't. That's good. Purchase, All right. Are lifted. Onward to the prophet. Clear. And I gotta remember to to drink those holy waters before I go in. All right, here we go. Full torchlight. Now let's give a holy water to everybody. There we go. And maybe a little bit of food there. Yep. And uh, all right. Prophet, the prophet it is. The madman hides there, behind the pews, spouting his mindless drivel. All right. That's fine. All right, so first things first. Do we want to mark, or do we want to just start doing damage? Um... I think we will go ahead and start doing damage to the pews. And, you know, it's going to take a little while. Uh, not if we keep doing that. 
And weakening curse on you. And defender you. And we're gonna get some stress, some blight here. That's why we drink, that's why we drink our potions. Oh, and that dodge, oh man, that, 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 uh, that box is great. That, whatever it's called, the, uh, what is that thing? Overture box, that dodge just helped him there. All right, continue to kill the pews and continue to weakening curse you. And let's see, I've still got my protection for two more rounds, so I don't need to actually do that again. Let's go ahead and just attack. And resist the blights, please. And another bola might be able to take care of this one. Yep. Masterfully executed. Two damage, that weakening curse. He's doing, he's only doing a quarter of his damage, basically, that he would, uh... He's not prophesied your end, he's prophesied her end. Take out the pews, get the money. Uh, we will go ahead and defend our lovely Arbalist. And we'll just continue, uh, nerfing his damage into the ground. And, yep, they'll start doing some chip damage here to him, which is fine. All right, we got two blights that time. Uh, our, um, our holy water has worn off. All right, we get two. Luckily, one of them is the man at arms. Go ahead and use a uh, anti-venom there. Chop this pew. Uh, he's probably eh, only two rounds. Yeah, I better go ahead and weaken him again. Minus 111 damage. That is awesome. Give you an anti-venom. And Ebola should end that. There we go. And now it's just uh, just us versus him. Yeah, when you don't have that uh, weakening curse stacked up like that, that can really do a lot of damage. Uh, unfortunately, I only have one anti-venom left. Possibly should have brought more. But we should be able to mow through him pretty well. Um, yep, yeah, just, just continue spamming that. Uh, let's see, what is... Uh, oh, one damage for one round? Uh, that ain't no thing. Uh, your stun resist is pretty high. Let's, we'll guard the occultist just to... Just so he doesn't take too much damage. He shouldn't take... shouldn't take hardly any. More blights, but that's... that's a... such a mild blight. I guess I didn't realize that that blight was so weak. I wonder if... I wonder if the weakening curse also affects the blight. You just love the number 23. All right, we should be able to probably kill him here. So, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna weaken him anymore. Well struck. Let the occultist, cult, occultist get in some damage. We will defend just, just in case he didn't, he wouldn't have died to, <laughs> he's only got three HP, but I could have missed or something. All right. Did he foresee his own no body? big deal. Yeah, 2,500 each. So long as he remains dead. Uh, stun resist me. 
Don't really care about these. Oh, I gotta put these in my inventory? I didn't realize that. I thought I got them at the end of the quest for some reason. Uh, let's see, common. And they're all common, so. No real difference. I'm not gonna, not ever gonna use any of those. All right, let's uh, let's, let's uh, go ahead and backtrack and check out what's in these uh, these fancy treasure rooms. And we will we will be needing heals uh, at some point, probably, but shouldn't be too bad. We got we got some food to last us, and we do have. Uh, do have a few torches left? Whoops. The light, the promise of safety. And let's see. I guess I'll go ahead and I guess I'll go ahead and use my key here. Got some stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and go to this battle, and then we'll backtrack, and we may go all the way down to this uh, treasure room. Man, another hunger tile. All right, well, we can only really deal with two more of those. Stress is looking pretty good as well. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and do all of these, um, I believe this is our last boss of the Apprentice level, and I wanted to go ahead and do all of them because I may very well skip a lot of the Veteran and Champion level ones. No surprise there. And let's see, I could do this, that's 5 to 9 damage, or this is 7 to 11. And we can actually go ahead and kill her. Ah, the dodges! Yep, gonna get a little bit of stress. You die. And we need some healing here. Uh, let's go ahead and kill him. Man, she's got great damage. Those camping buffs. Go ahead and heal up. Begin to heal. Uh, we could stun this. And then shoot it. And heal it. Impressive. I need those crests. Clearly in view. Uh merely. Oh, I had these and I just bypassed an Iron Maiden. Uh, I can actually get that on the way back. Let's see, what do I not want? Uh, this thing. I got two of them already. Uh, let's check this. I don't think I need anything to interact with that. A few more thingies. I uh, do want the gold. Uh, it, let's see, I'm going to just backtrack so I can actually... I could ditch the shovels, but they help with, uh, they help with chests, and there should be a chest in here. So I'm going to... I'm gonna, it's only 250 gold. I'm gonna leave that for now. And then we'll, we'll go see what's up with this uh, Iron Maiden. I believe I saw one somewhere. Or was it way, oh no, it was right here. I, I believe that's the Iron Maiden. Oh, we got a, we got a battle. We got a pop-up battle. Laden with loot. More busts are welcome. Low on supplies. Uh, 
Sometimes it seems like these pop-up battles are kind of uh, meh. Meaning, meaning bad. I realize that sounded like I meant, you know, oh, they're no big deal, but sometimes they're, uh, sometimes they are a big deal. They seem like they might be a little bit harder than regular old room battles. Obliterated. Just because of the madman. He can do a lot of stress damage. But if you're going in the darkness, sometimes you can get uh, shamblers just randomly in hallways. Which is fun. Good crit. Didn't need any healing. But I've got to remember... A trifling victory. Uh, you can pause and read that if you would like. Uh, don't need a bandage. Would like a portrait. I can't stack four... I can't stack four portraits. Uh, I don't think there was another Iron Maiden. So I am going to go ahead and ditch uh, the medicinal herbs for the portrait. Yeah, that's good. Continuing on. Sometimes I wish there was a game mode where you could just like start with all, a, you know, a bunch of guys at level four. I know that there is the, uh, we'll use a shovel on that. Glittering gold. gold. Trinkets and balls. I want a hundred gold. Paid for in blood. Um. Oh, uh, yeah. I didn't see that. Anti-Venom. I know that you can do the experience recruits thing in the uh, stagecoach, but it's almost like by the time you get enough uh, heirlooms for that to be viable, you've already... Oh, I almost forgot again. Uh, you already... Oh, he wasn't... Well, whatever. That worked out. Uh, by the time you get enough heirlooms for the experience recruit thing to be viable, you've already got your guys like halfway up to level four. Uh, yeah, I don't want to go that way. We'll just get this last treasure. Use hunger. Use our last torch. Uh, might as well heal everybody up. I'm not going to get another hunger check. Ditch it. In we go. I said, in we go. Um, but yeah, then you could kind of just jump into the, um, you know, you could kind of jump into the mid game and not have to grind these, like, the apprentice stuff, once you know what you're, you're doing, is just, it's, it's fairly easy. I mean, it's not easy, but in, in by this game's standards, it's, it's fairly easy. Um... But then the, of course, the uh, the mid game stuff starts getting pretty. Uh, the the difficulty jumps up between apprentice and veteran, and then it jumps up significantly between veteran and champion. Uh, do I want to stun somebody? Yes, I do. Uh, I would like to. Crit you. I would actually like to reduce some stress on my arbalist here. But alas, can't always get what you want. Alright, we take all that, use our last shovel here. Oh, that's only on that's the uh, yeah, that's not on that. And it's trapped. Great. Alright, way out of here. All right, got some money. Uh, those those uh, pews helped quite a bit, and we got some good good heirlooms. Not a whole lot of crests, but busts for sure. Let's see what uh, kind of that's not bad, not great either. Uh, that's mediocre. What did it replace balance? Nah, that's okay. Reward. 
Siren's call to the enterprising bounty hunters. But I believe that they are probably uh, not. That'd be great if they were like high level or something. But no, they're not. Oh, they're not even in there. I guess. Wait, why did that show me two bounty hunters? And there are no bounty hunters in the stagecoach for me to take. Rumor of riches. Can I not read that? It just says rumor of riches. Huh. Oh, did my bounty hunters go off on a... On a... Some kind of damn fool idealistic crusade? They did. I mean, I assume they're going to come back. No, Stuffy's here. Huh. I guess I should have read that more closely. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. My name is Rantry, and I will see you next time.